everyone, it's Christy here for the Tina Conte Foundation. In today's video, we're talking Twitter and how it can benefit your nonprofit organization. So I'm going to walk you through briefly on how to set up a Twitter account for your nonprofit. And then we're going to take a look at our nonprofit's Twitter account. And I can give you some tips and tell you a little bit about the lessons that we learned along the way. So let's go ahead and get started. Simply type in Twitter. You're going to come to this page, and as you can see, this is our Twitter information. But we're going to go in as if we don't have a Twitter account. Let's just go ahead and, and name this nonprofit account. So I'm just going to go in and put in some fake information just so we can go ahead and get this uh, started, and then I'll be right back. To, um, put in if you want Twitter to track your personal stuff. And so we don't, so I uncheck that box and let's go ahead and go to the next screen. To here it texts you what shows up and it says we've sent a code. So we're going to check the code. So then you come to the screen, it asks you to make a password. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in the password and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so next you come to this screen where it says to pick a profile picture. And if you just click on the little camera, it'll take you to your computer and you can search for an appropriate picture. So we're gonna say skip for now. And this is, it tells you what makes you special describe yourself so this is where you can put your nonprofit's mission statement a brief mission mission statement or anything that you'd like others to see when they come to your Twitter okay and then it asks you know what are some topics that are you are you are interested in and this is great because it will show you people that you can follow who are interested in the same things so we're just going to say for in the interest of this video where it says nonprofits, we're going to click on that. Then it gives you great suggestions on people that you can follow. And this says turn on notifications. So if you want them to notify you whenever um, something is happening on Twitter, you can hit allow. We're going to hit skip for now. Okay. So now that we've created the account here, as you can see at the bottom left, it says nonprofit account. And then um, Tina Conte Foundation, I just made it up. But the great thing about it is if you have multiple Twitter accounts, you can add them here. So here we are on our Twitter account. We've signed in. This is where you put your photo. I would suggest using the same photo across all the social media platforms so that uh, individuals know that it's your organization when they see it so it gives them a, um, a bit of safety knowing that um, you are legitimate this belongs to you this is where we're located this is our we put our website address here and it says the date that we joined our followers and our follow people that we are following and followers now some people may ask who do I follow I don't know my suggestion would be to start with your local news so once you're signed in so our one of our local news is WLOX. So it has a list of we're already following it, but these are some anchors that we could possibly follow. And I suggest following your local news and find a particular anchor that resonates with your organization because lots of times they'll have segments that they're doing about community organizations. If you build a rapport with that particular um, anchor or that news, you can reach out to them and say, "Hey, I have a nonprofit." I like to get on whatever's going on or also following the news allows you to know of any events that are coming up that your organization wants to be a part of. So it's good to follow the news. Now, let's say you don't know how to tweet something. How do you actually do that? Well, let's scroll down and see some of the what, who we're following. Well, one of the places that we're following is the city of Pascagoula. And this is a post that they made. So let's click on that. And so their last post was about 15 hours ago. So what you can do is if you like the post, you can click that heart and you see how it jumps. 
shows us you like something if you want to retweet it which means share it on your page which I've already done you can hit that you can hit retweet with a comment or retweet without one so let's just hit retweet with a comment and so this is their post and if you had a comment you can just put you know a, a something about that on there and once you do that if you go to your profile you'll see um, I retweeted this about 20 minutes ago. It'll tell me when I retweeted it, and I just put happy to see everyone out and about. And there you go. And the great thing about um, you put hashtags, I put hashtag Pascagoula, because if someone wants to search for the hashtag, I type in Pascagoula. Okay. And we'll go latest you're going to see my tweet that I made. Okay. So it's good to do that. And then I put Sunday thoughts. That's what's trending. I mean, that's what's popular. That's what everyone is looking for. So when you create a post and you're about to put your hashtag, as you type it in, it'll give you some suggestions on, um, what is trending. So that way your tweet is more likely to be seen because trending means that's what's popular. That's what's going on. Right right then and there down so it's important to kind of be strategic with your um posts don't just throw a bunch of retweets out that looks kind of lazy create your own post so let's go to the last thing that we're going to talk a little bit about here and it's under the more tab and it's your analytics now and the full spirit of disclosure here um we did two tweets this, we have not been on our Twitter game like we're supposed to, but now that's all been rectified. We have a plan. Um, when you see new followers, we didn't gain any new followers this month. We lost a follower. Don't be alarmed by that because lots of times spam accounts will follow you and try to get you to follow them. And when you're an organization, you typically want to follow everyone because you want to get more followers, engagement. And then that's where they start sending you spam tweets. You see a bunch of you know stuff on your timeline and then you have to go through and delete people and and whatnot so i want to what i'm going to do now is as you can see scroll down we lost some followers i'm going to go and find um when we first started and show you the difference between when we first started and now and tell you the biggest mistake that we made Let's take a look this is what i want to show you I don't know how this gentleman found us, but he's following us. So somebody like him, who is a verified person, who is has 1.48 million followers, follows little our little organization. And that when he followed us for the month of April, we had 97 followers. This right here, Denise Landis, our author, she has 1.26 million followers. She found us. I don't know how. That month, we had 244 followers. So we were strategic. What we did, like I said, but Twitter is just not about you posting, you tweeting so that others can can like. You have to engage your audience. I found that we, we when we stopped tweeting, we, we didn't have as much engagement. We weren't doing a lot of things we were supposed to be doing, and we lost a lot of our followers. My advice is to be strategic when you post. Um, post regularly, which is what tweet, excuse me, you know what I mean, tweet regularly, which is what we're going to start doing and just get that in community involvement in your posts. And you don't have to tweet every day, but you need to tweet at least a few times a week to get that engagement, to build that community and to, to have your um, Twitter account grow. Twitter is a great resource. It's a great way for you to have your nonprofit out there and engage with those in your community okay so as always guys that concludes this video thank you so much for watching uh, we're growing we're so excited we're a little small but mighty army and remember those of us who are in the nonprofit sector we're all in this together we're changing the world one nonprofit at a time don't give up on your dream guys it, it can happen as always thank you so much for watching and until then we'll see you in the next video and I'd like to thank all of our new subscribers really appreciate you Thank you.